Five Wednesday. Kim here, welcome back to my channel. And it's Wednesday, which means it's time for Top 5 Wednesday because that's what you do when it is Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday is a Goodreads group. I'll leave the linky link down there. Uh, it's usually book related, but this week it's super cool because it's your top five favorite things other than books. Because we all have lots of things that we like that are not books. Do we? Do we have things we like that are? Do I? No, I'm just kidding. Yes, I do. Okay, so here we go. Number one, Captain Hook. So I've mentioned a few times that Captain Hook is my favorite literary character, and while this is sort of book related, um, and I did just reread like my favorite book about Captain Hook, I just feel the need to gush about Captain Hook as a person because I think he's really cool. He is somebody that I look up to. He's an inspiration to me. And I know he's a bad guy and a villain and I don't even care. Like, he's so cool. I'm in love with Captain Hook. I think that he has style and he has personality and he's very unique and he is really well-rounded, I feel like. And I don't know, I like his demeanor, I like his style, I like his catchphrases, I like that he has a hook for hand. Um, I just think he's cool, okay? Like, I just love him. Like, okay, yeah. Number two, this sweatshirt. I just barely got this and I actually just got it at Kohl's. Can you see it okay? Yay! I love this sweatshirt. I love Star Wars, that's no secret either. So, but this sweatshirt, um, it's fairly warmish for girl clothes. Girl clothes tend to not ever be warm and I wear my husband's sweaters, but this one I found and it says Star Wars a bunch of times. And I like it and it's comfortable and it's still um, brand new. So it's still really like soft fleecy inside, which I like. And um, I like the kind of retro style on it and it says Star Wars and it makes me happy and it was on sale. And I think I've worn it every day for like two weeks now. And I'm not even sorry. I love it. Number three, cranberry tea. I found this tea at the Walmart and I really like the tins they come in. And I really like this brand of tea. Um, they're like more natural things in it. You can see the bits floating in the tea bag, which I like. But this one's cranberry and it's super delicious. And I have a really bad stomach. Like I, um, I'm prone to like ulcers and things like that. And this uh, cranberry is really good for that. So this is a nice way for me to get hydrated, for me to warm up and for me to get my cranberry intake and for me to just have a cup of warm, good feelings. Cranberry tea, Harney and Sons fine teas, cranberry tea. Mmm, it's really my favorite right now. I love it so much. I have like five cups a day. Number four uh, is also sort of food related, eating, consumption related, whatever. Anyway, it's a food, but it is these Bulgarian style potatoes. I'm trying to remember the word. Oh, I can't ever remember the word for potatoes. I can remember the word for feta cheese, but I can't remember the Bulgarian word for potato. Anyway, it's where you cut up potatoes and then you fry them in oil. And when they're done, you sprinkle feta cheese on top. And I am not kidding you. They are the most delicious potatoes you have ever had. They are so good. And my husband made them for me this weekend because he loves me and oh, Oh my gosh, I could eat my body weight and then some in those potatoes, you guys. Oh, they're so good. Fried potatoes and put feta on them. I'm gonna need you to trust me. Good feta, not crappy feta. Get a good feta, not necessarily even Greek feta. Like there are um, different kinds of feta from different places and the Bulgarian feta is better than feta cheese from Greece, guys. It just is. So if you have a European food store, get it from there, it's so good. Anyway, fry potatoes, put feta cheese on top and eat it all. And you're gonna just, you'll you'll be like, it, it's just like, like I can die a happy woman after eating five plates of that. So good. Ugh. Lastly, number five, my, one of my five favorite things, it's not a book, artwork that my niece gives me. You've probably seen her in my vlog, my super cute little five-year-old niece. She's my buddy and she, I pick her up from school twice a week 
And every time I do, she always has like some cute piece of artwork to give me and I'm gonna show you something. This one's actually from my birthday that she gave me, but she made me a birthday card. Like, look. Oh. She like wrote, I love you. Oh, how cute is that? You guys. This one, look at this, guys. She is an art prodigy. Look at, it's 3D. Do you see this? Do you see what's happening? It's amazing. Oh, she made me this for Christmas. Yep, I actually wear it a lot. I really like it. I wore it all Christmas day. I've worn it, I think it's in like Instagram selfies. Like, I really like wear it. Like, I love it so much. Like, she gave me this one the other day from school. Like, it has her letters on it. Yeah, it's got some and pasta. On, it's on like a pipe cleaner, it's got flowers. She said she put green beads on it because green's my favorite color, so she always puts green things. Those are my top five favorite things other than books. We have Captain Hook, we have my Star Wars sweatshirt, we have what cranberry tea, Bulgarian style potatoes, and artwork from my lovely, charming, incredibly smart little niece. I hope you all are having a great week, and we will see you guys later.